It gives me the greatest pleasure to be able to express the deep appreciation of our delegation for Your Excellency's kindness to us and for making this trip a happy as well as an extremely fruitful one. This visit has confirmed the long-standing friendship and trust that exists between our two countries. Your Ex Excellency was kind enough to say that I have led our, my party and my people in the movement for democracy. But in our struggle, we have been helped greatly by the thoughts of Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru, great leaders of the Indian independence movement, who have inspired us with their vision and with their belief in their people. We, as a nation struggling to make democratic culture take root in our country, believe in our people. Without a belief in our people, we could not think of setting up a democratic system of government. We believe that India, with its experiences, so similar to us in many ways, will be able to help us in our endeavors. As, is, as Your Excellency has outlined, we are going to be cooperating in the areas of construction, energy, agriculture, archaeology, education. A very, very wide range of subjects were covered during our discussions over the last couple of days. This morning, when I spoke to the Indian business community, I urged them to invest in trust. It's by investing in trust and confidence that our two countries will be able to help each other in the way forward. We have much to do. We are behind India in the field of development as well as in the field of the politics, if you like, political development, both political and economic development. But we are confident that we will be able to make up for lost time with the support and understanding of our friends. This is why the capacity building programs that India is envisaging for us will be of tremendous help. This will move us forward from a position when, where we are almost behind all the other South Asian countries to the position we used to hold at one time when we were the first country in Southeast Asia, the country most likely to succeed, as we were then termed. Things change, life changes unexpectedly, but with good friends and with commitment and endeavor on our side, we hope to make up for lost time and to work together to establish not just friendship between our two countries, but peace and stability in our region and beyond. This is our ambition, to bring peace and stability in, to our country and to regions beyond, because we have suffered from lack of peace and stability for many decades, and we would not wish such a situation on any other nation in the world. India has been most understanding of our needs, and we believe that this understanding will only increase with time because it is our intention to engage more closely together, to depend on each other for our needs, the needs that are the needs of the world at large. The need to make sure that our people have material progress at the same time as they build up the, their spiritual resources for which India is so famous and which I believe is an extremely valuable resource. We've all, Burma has often been congratulated for the abundance of its natural resources, but we have always said that the most precious resource is a human one. It's our people who are most important. We will run out of natural resources in time, but our people should always be there to take our country forward. And this is why we look to India as a country made up of diverse ethnic peoples, diverse religions, diverse languages, and out of all that, you have managed to create a nation that presents a united front to the world, and that is capable of helping other nations to progress along the same democratic path. We've always admired India for being the greatest democracy in the world, and for being able to 
maintain the system in spite of the many challenges that have raised their heads since independence. We too have many challenges to face, but we are confident that these challenges can be overcome because our people are determined to overcome them. We are building up a very young democracy and India is helping us, especially with the capacity building of our legislators as well as our civil servants. We need both. We need to build up the capacity of our legislators to make sure that rule of law is established firmly and fairly in our country. I must explain that rule of law in Burmese, in Myanmar, translates as rule of just laws. It's not just any law, just laws, we say, it, a rule of just laws, and this is what we want. In order to have just laws, we need a legislature that, is, that has the capacity to make sure that our laws are just. And for this also, we looked to the experience of the Lok Sabha and other legislative bodies in this land. Apart from just laws, we need the implementation of these laws, which means capacity building for our, our police force. And this is another area in which India is very kindly helping us and which we appreciate greatly. So with the rule of just laws in our country, we can go forward to establish a truly democratic federal union, which is the dream of all our peoples, all our ethnic nationalities. We have been trying to bring peace to our country for many decades. We hope that the time has come for us to be able to say we have made it, we have made the breakthrough. We are now firmly set on the path to a union that will be a union for as long as the world endures. And in this too, we looked to India with its experience of federalism to teach us how we may best bring all our peoples into the process, to be part of our search for peace, stability, and a strong, enduring federal union. Once again, I would like to thank His Excellency and also to take the opportunity of thanking the President of this Indian, or of India for inviting us to be guests at his residence, Rastrabadi Bhavan. This is a signal honor done to us and we cannot but appreciate it from the very depths of our hearts. Thank you. I thank the two leaders for their statements. This concludes the joint press briefing. Thank you all. No doubt, she's a stunning woman and as she rightly puts it, sensuality and intelligence go hand in hand. But clearly, people only see what meets the eye after her video went viral.